All this time we had waited for a good CM ROM which gives us a near stock Android experience. And this unofficial Sandrum 13 build which is based on our Sandy 2 gives us the same which is having front camera fixed which makes it totally bugless and it's really good for performance. So without wasting any further time, let's start with the full review of CM13 for Samsung Galaxy Grand 2. Hello guys, welcome to Make Now Tech and this is the full review of CM13 for Samsung Galaxy Grand 2. So I'm using this ROM for a couple of weeks now, more than that, and I must say that it has really performed well. With no bloatware, the performance is really good. So without wasting any further time, let's jump on to the settings. Let's just scroll down and go to the about device section and check the Android version and all that things. So it's basically 6.0.1 Marshmallow as it is CM13. So as I was saying that CM13 Yes, it is really performing well and with the bloatware, the performance also increases a bit. There are not much customizations. Okay, the security patch level over here is of October. The C Linux status is permissive. Moving on to the developer options, you will find the normal. Uh, you can actually access the root permission from over here with uh, two apps and ADB. So just scrolling more down, you will find the multimeter option, which is experimental. You can enable it, but actually you can't actually resize the multi window as you do in android in so basically just open up two apps and just run side by side select the position you want your app to and yes it is working but you cannot resize it but yes and to exit out just click on back button okay moving on section that is customizations there are not much customization in it you can customize the uh, status bar icons which you want you want to enable or disable it you can customize the clock style uh, there you can also enable the slider which when you uh, slide on the status bar it will increase or decrease the brightness and also there are some uh, minor issues like uh, the GPS will only work with Google Maps as of now there are some minor lags in it there are some minor lags and also offline charge animation doesn't work but the offline charge works so don't take it seriously it's it's an issue not an bug okay moving on to the next section that is the themes uh, this is the new cm theme engine which has the new ui in it if you can click on it you will find the floating bubble you can directly access it over here or just drag and drop it down and it will delete it so okay uh, looking at a uh, look up uh, there's a new UI, you can customize it, you will see the card view, you can customize the icons, the wallpaper, the, the boot animation and everything from here. There's one default theme which comes in it right away. Moving on to the next section that is memory management. As I've said that there's no bloatware so yes the performance is good. You will actually get 400 plus MB uh, memory free if you use it uh, just will sort it from the max and as you can see the game uses the more but still it is performing well there is 400 amp mb left free okay so now the next section is uh really the most important one that is the battery life and yes the battery life is really good it's really good for a day-to-day -day use i have provided some uh, of the stat which i have collected over uh, the past couple of weeks as you can see over here uh, there's a screen on time of 3 hours 45 minutes which is normal for data to use after some days I took that it went up to 4 hours yes which performed well and it went on increasing to 4 hours 16 minutes so yes it can be used as a daily driver so moving on let's check the apps uh, there are not much apps which comes preloaded on it you will get the normal uh, screen recorder with it screen and also there is the news the new jello browser with it uh, which has a really good customization with a uh, hell lot of things with it so let's just jump into the settings of this browser and as you can see you can even like the page you can download it or you can set it the bookmark uh, let's see the uh, full preview of the settings okay you can see that uh, the general section the advanced section where you can 
actually then you can uh, the security and there is this power saving mode also while you're browsing so let's just check the browsing how it goes on let's just search for something like uh, the latest android in okay the browsing is look and let's just open up this page and let's check the speed of its okay yes it's opening well yep it's performing really well okay let's just check youtube that it's opening up or not okay yes it's open up quickly let's check with the video if it's buffering or not we will just forward it back and forth okay yes it, it's working it's working fine okay so as you can see the animation also it's very quick uh, I have just installed the for another third party camera but uh, yes the front camera is now fixed so yes you can enjoy selfies with it now so let's just move on to the camera as you can see uh, this is the video of Google camera which will get Okay yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, do the like button and for more videos like this, do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one. Till then, goodbye.